most of the negatives, original nitrate negatives, all with the original Paramount titles exist. The ones that are pre-1950 are housed at the UCLA Film and Television Archive, and unfortunately, in many cases, all they have is the nitrate original negative, which is great, but they don't have any prints, or if they have any prints, they have nitrate prints, they don't have safety prints. There's some rare exceptions. They restored a couple of cartoons like Cat Like a Friendly Ghost. Unfortunately, the people who control this material, control this master material, which would be Paramount Pictures today, they really have no interest in putting this material out. They don't have any commercial sense on these things. Let's hope they change their mind uh, one of these days. When you see them in 35 millimeter or really good remastered transfers from 35 millimeter, you see them with their colors restored. It really makes a difference with the original titles because a lot of us grew up with these things, you know, red faded 16 millimeter prints with uh, choppy UM and M or M NTA TV titles. And uh, they look like crap. And when you see them the way they were originally shown in a movie theater, there's a big difference. They, they're really almost magnificent. They really kind of hold their own in a way that I, I never suspected they could. These cartoons on this disc were uh, sold in the early 1950s to the UM&M Corporation. And that was a consortium of TV channels, TV networks, and, uh, and a TV distributor. They got together, came up with a lot of money, gave Paramount Pictures this lot of money in order to buy out their entire short subjects library which included their live-action short subjects. They, of course, took the Paramount titles off, and that was very intentional, because not just because they wanted to promote the um and &M TV Corp., but because uh, Paramount, in particular, was uh, in hot water with uh, the government and uh, theater owners. Back in those days, in the 1950s, TV was the enemy. Movie theaters and uh, major movie studios uh, had a bond. The movie theaters didn't like the uh, movie companies to have anything to do with television. On the other hand, the movie companies could make money selling their material to television, especially the old product that wasn't going to play in theaters anymore. They would sell their uh, backlog, their pre-1950, pre-1948, older movies and shorts to TV distributors and then they'd have their names of uh, the studios stripped off of them so that it didn't look like Paramount Pictures or Warner Brothers were showing films on television, God forbid. You know, that was a uh, no-no. So uh, they, UM and M did a very good job of taking off and hiding uh, the original titles for years and years and years. The good news is they did that with uh, the release prints that they sent, to, to, they sent to the TV stations, but they didn't ruin the original negatives, which unfortunately some other studios did. 